Hello, y'all. This is Todd from We Put Your Stuff. Well, we got a mini cow coming. So that means I gotta build a mixed milk stand for her. I'm fixing to build a stanchion and I'm gonna kind of show y'all what I'm doing. It's nice and chilly this morning. Got plenty of clothes on out here. I say chilly, that's 35 degrees. It's cold for us in Louisiana over here. It ain't 35 below, but it's cold for us. We're not used to all this. But well, guys, I'm gonna show you what I did. I ran to the store a while ago and I bought some treated uh, plywood. It's treated two by fours, two by sixes and some regular that's not treated. Whatever's close to the ground in Louisiana, you've got to have treated because the, the moisture around here and the humidity is so bad, it, it doesn't last long, it'll rot quick. Plus, I'm gonna put it on blocks to get it up off the ground a little bit. Guys, let me show you what I got. I should have showed, slowed down and showed y'all a little bit more as I went, but I looked on the internet, on YouTube, and other people have been making these. I just make mine a little bit different. All right, these are four by sixes right here. I bought two of them eight foot long. These are, uh, I cut them back to seven foot. I wanted the overall measurement from outside to outside 34 inches. So that put my two by fours 27 inches on the inside. That's something they didn't show in them other videos of how wide. It depends on the width of your cow and the length of your cow to what size to build this. All right, I got some, I took a two by four. See this at the end of my tape measure and I ripped it in half on my table saw. And I put these two by fours on top. They're all screwed down into this and into this. Everything's tied together. That way I didn't have to use more of the four by sixes on the floor. The two by fours, I used two two by fours instead of another four by six. Actually three two by fours. So it's, it's actually a little cheaper and it's gonna be stronger the way I got it built. See how it's a little bit up off the ground right there? Once I put it on blocks, all this will be up off the ground. The only thing that'll be touching is these four by sixes. Now I just went, got Jerry to help me. We ripped the plywood and I'm fixing to lay the plywood down on top of this and start screwing it down. All right guys, I'm fixing to cut my boards for the sides. My actual post. I got a measurement from this saw right there to this jig which is six foot that's going to be the length of my post it's actually going to be a little bit under six foot because that blade doesn't hit perfect right here but which it really doesn't matter i got that jig set right there i got this part right here tightened down and that way i'm going to cut four of them the exact same length Actually gonna cut two two by fours and two two by sixes. I'm gonna put the two by sixes in the front where the uh, head shoot's gonna be, and I'm gonna put two by fours in the back. I should use two by uh, sixes on everything, but I'm gonna be running short on them. Did work on what I got. Guys, I'm gonna get me a scrap piece of two by four and put on the on the slab right here. That way, I'll pick this one up a little bit higher up off the off the ground. Just trying to get it away from the ground a little bit.
guys. I got all my four posts up. And I'm fixing to put my cross pieces on. What I did is I measured down on the bottom. I knew it was exactly seven foot. So I cut these two two by fours seven foot. And I'll match up the top. That way you square everything back up. Now I'm doing this by myself right now. I don't have no clamps with me to, to hold this up. So I'm gonna put me a screw over here, temporary, to set my board on. Guys, these are the same screws that we used on the greenhouse. It's a two and a half inch decking screw. Got the little star wrench to it. They, they pull very, very well. You put them in, there ain't nothing coming. Alright y'all. I know that butterfly is 40 inches tall. Which that puts her back right here. So I need a board that's gonna be on the side. So I'm gonna come down to about 24 inches to, the, to my board right there. That should put it right in the middle of her belly. Keep her from falling out of here. Look how short she is, y'all. She ain't much bigger than a goat. She's a little bit wider, but she ain't no taller. All right, y'all. <gasps> I feel it. I brought the milker in here with me. Oh my gosh. When you're six foot four and she's about five foot, I build everything tall. So I got to make sure that she can reach this to be able to lock her head up. Can you reach that right there? No. What? Right here. Right yeah. there is where you're going to be. Okay. All right, guys. I was just checking to make sure I could reach up there. He never told me I was going on film. Look at me with this hat on. I got a purple and yellow hat on. I think I even got it back. Oh, I had a stick in it. Purple and yellow hat. Look. It don't matter. Go Tigers! <laughs> All right, guys. Let me get back to this. I'll show you more on this head gate when I get it finished. I'm still trying to figure it out as I go. Now, All right, y'all. I got the head shoot finished. I'm going to show you what I did. All right. There's a picture of it. All it is is two by fours on the inside and out. I got some scrap pieces in between. This top piece right here, this ain't nothing but a bolt. Just pull it out and you can slide this one. Slide the pin in. Now this one here shouldn't be moving very much. This one right here is where your adjustment's at. That's how it slides back and forth. This right here is the pin. I got a place just to put it on the side. Slide it in. Lock her down. All this pin is, guys, just a door handle. Drawer handle, actually. Old knob. I welded a screw on the top of it, a wood screw. Same bolts that I got on top and bottom. Just welded it on her. Slide it in. Trying to make it a little easier on her. Cause she said she's doing the milking. While I'm at work, this is her job. All right, y'all, we got butterfly extension done. This is where she'll come into it. Really not sure about the height of this board right here. I gotta get her in here so we can adjust that. That board can be slid up and down. I got a trough in the front. And that is it, y'all. I had to do a lot of refurbishing on boards. I run out of boards. I scratched them out of the old barnyard up in the up in the attic to the barn. But we got her done. I'll get her all set up as soon as it quits raining. We've got some 
cold rain coming down right now. It's not raining very hard, but it's wet and nasty right now. But well, guys, that's it for the stanchion. She'll be set up and complete. God bless. Catch you on the next one.